Amazon laid off 14,000 employees. Is Silicon Valley entering a winter for software engineers? I talked to a five-year senior product manager at AWS. I asked, were your team affected by the layoffs? He said, oh, it's mostly engineers. A HR and managers are good. That was shocking. So why aren't the product department get replaced? So I asked, how did you not get laid off? He said something that stuck with me. Technical skills can be automated, but the system level and business logic cannot be. So here is what he meant. If you give AI a design doc, it can vibe code a code software very fast. But what if the design doc has some changes, such as your business requirements changed, the AI will fail, and you always need a human to step in. So that's the human skill and business he mentioned. But what if you are a software engineer and don't want to go on the manager track? Here is the good news. Be a solution architect. So what does that mean? Let's say Apple want you to design a AI system for their Hey Siri. As a solution architect, you don't need to write the like, C++ code, the API, but you are responsible for deciding how many GPUs to deploy, how many nodes to allocate, and the tensor parallelism, is it TP4, TP8, what networking switch you need, it is highly technical, but also requires high-level thinking. If you want to know what to learn, here is one key topic, the communication system, such as NVIDIA's Nickel and the Nixle and NVLink. These, these will be the future of data centers connecting many different nodes in a distributed system.